Sir Bob Jones getting kicked off um, the flight because he refused to watch the safety video. I just want to go around the panel and get your thoughts on that. Do you think it's fair for him to be ejected just because he didn't want to watch the safety video or put his seatbelt on, Tracy Martin? First of all, I, I fly maybe three, four times a week and that's I always I watch the safety video. I always watch it because I'm polite. So that's the first thing. But I reckon that if he wasn't going to watch it, keep him belted in and if the plane goes down, leave him there. What? Well, if he's, if he's not going to watch the safety video to help everybody else out, if the plane goes down, oh, you stay me. there. Can somebody take a glass of wine away, please? Can you take that away? And fill it up. <laughs> and fill it up. And get me a beer too while you're out of Caroline. All right. Um, Russell Norman, safety videos. Would you do the same thing? Well, I mean, if he wouldn't wear his seatbelt, the rule is you've got to wear your seatbelt. It's pretty straightforward. Yeah. Watching a video? Because you've seen them at him for night, and they do get a bit, you know, the well, Lord of the Rings, the Lord of the Hobbit. Now they've got the They surface. ask you to take your headphones off. If you don't take your headphones off, then I guess, you know, you're breaking the rules. They're trying to regulate hundreds of people on a little... Uh, tube of metal, uh, they need people to kind of cooperate if it's going to work. Yeah, and at the end of the day, it's not climate change either, is it? Now, what <laughs> well, about... Well, uh, now that you mention it. <laughs> <laughs> there are emissions out of it. Actually, good point, very good point. Um, Todd Barclay, is this entitlement? You've got a man with a knighthood. Yeah, well, I'd, I'd just like to say I fly from Invercargill to Wellington a couple of times a week, and we don't even oh, have no, the videos bye, bye, on the planes there, so... <laughs> hey, so I think, uh, well, you know, on, the video is pretty innovative. Stop. He doesn't have, you don't have videos? No, yeah, they've got the woman that stands up the front and does the, the signals and does it all orally. Can, yeah. can, you, can you do them? <laughs> well, I probably should be able to by now, but no. All I'll right, leave so that for another night. Okay, well, what about you, Calvin? Look, I just find those uh, videos way too long. I mean, New Zealand's trying to be quirky, but at the end, they, they just take so long that you, you end up just getting bored with them. I think they need to say as much as they can in as short a time as possible instead of dragging it out. And, and basically, people like Bob Jones would have been on those planes dozens and dozens, hundreds of times and... Um, so you're telling the other side, you're kind of supporting Sir Bob? Well, you know, you've got to do up your seatbelt, you at least take off your headphones or whatever, but to be honest, you hear them so many times that you, you know what's, it off by what's, heart. What's your most hated one? Oh, I didn't like that Hobbit one. Yeah. It's too Wallace, long. Wallace, yeah. ask them when it was the bathing beauties all in their swimsuits, were they interested in the video then? <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh. Alright, then the Sports Illustrated one. What about you, Tom the video, Those Richard videos Simmons are good tourism one. attributes for New that Zealand, so I reckon they're quite yeah, positive. Yeah, yeah. Alright, what about you, Russell? Richard Simmons, that was fantastic. That was really, you got one. really <laughs> great. You got one. What about the audience for the safety videos? Yeah, I don't know. Let's, let's go and see. Who, who's over the safety videos? Who flies all the time? Any Junos around? Yeah, some Junos up there. I won't ask them, though. Um, we fly, what, twice a week, Wallace? I've got to say, they never actually force you to watch them, right? The reason Bob Jones got kicked off the plane was not because he got forced to have his eyeballs on the screen. He got kicked off the plane because he was being a dick, OK? So let's be clear about that. <laughs> No, he was. I'm getting careful, careful in the air, but he was. Come on. We've both been on the plane. He wears these construction site headphones that he puts on to make a point. You know, he's made his point and he got off, kicked off the plane. Uh, you travel a lot, sir? Hello there. Uh, not, not as much as, a, uh, as some people might like me to. Okay. Um, you're from overseas, so I'm picking up. I am, yes. yes, yes. Um, do you think people should be forced to watch videos for their own safety? Yeah, it's not what happened with Bob Jones. He was sitting by the emergency exit and he was refusing to follow... A, uh, you know, a, a spoken um, instruction, and then they asked him, do you want to sit somewhere else? And he said no, and so they ejected him, which seems fair enough. So it seems fair enough? Yeah, absolutely. Okay, what about you, sir? If you uh, don't wear a seatbelt, uh, for instance, if you refuse to put your seatbelt on, should you be kicked off? Yeah, I think so. You're jeopardising other people's safety. But the issue with Bob Jones was he wasn't willing to help in an emergency. So if you're going to sit in an emergency exit row, but then refuse to help in an emergency, you should be kicked off. Fair point, fair point. Thank you very much, guys. Very Cheers. good. Thanks, guys. Very good indeed. And just finally, before we go to the uh, quiz, the passports, they are rising in uh, price, going from $135 to $180. It's been spun as a saving, Todd Barclay, yeah. um, but it's actually a rise in price. What's your thoughts on well, this? Well, it is, it is a saving over the court. You know, basically, instead of having two passports over t um, 10 years now, you only need to have one. We listen to New Zealanders, and it's still cheaper no, than you, Australia. No, you didn't listen. It's a rise in price. It's, it's, not, a, it's, a, it's an over extra... The, over the 10-year period, it's a reduction It's a bit of a spin, though, is it? it's still cheaper than Australia. What, what's that? <laughs> it's another text. Look, I mean, yeah. how much more administration goes into writing a five-year passport than, than it goes into writing a 10-year passport? Yeah. It's, well, there'll be less people. The, it's a waste of time. Um, less people if you're moving up 
Virginia Park. Upping the, the price for nothing. Yeah. All right, comments on that? Yeah, I mean, look, New Zealand First has actually put out press releases on this for the at least the last five years. Um, and we'd like to see some transparency around this cost, because we agree. Well, there'll be less people you if you've got five-year passports, the 10-year passports, no, less no, people no, 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 no. Then we won't reach then, So there's a reduction year. in cost, Mr Barclay. There's a reduction in cost because there's less people applying every yeah. five years for a passport. It's gone to 10 years. Yeah, why does Where's it cost more? Well, they've, the they've, the they've, got the they've got the same number of staff yeah. being employed at no, the no, no, well, Why no, does it cost more for a 10-year passport than a five-year passport? I don't get well, that. Well, it's still cheaper than Australia, but it's gone up a little bit to consult. Yeah, but why does it cost more for a 10-year passport than a five-year passport? Because, yeah. the, the there are less pe because there are less yeah. people applying for passports. No, no. General no. fund. This is how you make those national yeah. party yeah. policy. Yeah, right. It's okay. <laughs>